Hi, friends and family. Um, just thought I'd make a video. Um, I like to talk, obviously, and um, actually have something to say. Two things happened today. Um, one thing that happened today was an excellent, awesome thing that happened, and another thing was uh, very sad and. It hurts me to the core to say it. Uh, the sad thing that happened today was uh, Mrs. Arena Sullivan. We all know her. Well, those of us who know her know her better by uh, her nickname, Grandmother. Uh, well, Grandmother passed away today. Um, I'm not sure how old she was. I believe she was either in her 80s or very close to them. Uh, she was, uh, I believe she was sick. She had uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, I, I can probably speak for everyone who's ever known Grandmother in saying that even though it's very sad that she's gone, it's very comforting knowing that she's in a better place. She's in a place where she wanted to be and a place that she worked very long and very hard to be. Uh... I've never, I don't remember if anyone ever had like an area bad word to say about her. She was always so very soft spoken, just like granddad. And she had a little, a little country accent. And uh, when she talks, she talks really fast. She always talks really fast, just like this. And a little bitty voice. Always had some, uh, always had nice things to say. I, I've never ever heard her say, I, I've never heard her raise her voice. Ever. Um. She always smiled, even when she fussed at, at us. She would always have a smile afterwards. She was one of those people who didn't have to demand respect. Just by her demeanor, she earned it. She was very well loved by her family. Uh, I know, of course, everybody wishes that they had more time to spend with her and... You know, of course, there are going to be people who, you know, are sad because, you know, of course, we could have visited her more. We could have spoken to her more. But I don't believe that she really, I don't believe she held grudges about any of it. I believe that she, she understood that people have busy lives. And she doesn't hold any grudges. In fact, she's smiling down on us from heaven right now very happy that we remember her as the wonderful person that she is she's exactly where she wants to be right now and she'll be there for all of eternity and you know it's not a bad thing that she's gone it's actually a great thing that she's gone because she's gone to be with God and like I said she <clears throat> She lived through so much. She lost a grandson. She lost both of her sons. She lost her husband. And she still stood strong. She stood faithful and vigilant. Loved God with all of her heart and soul. And she uh, never faltered. She. And, and she was. She's. You know what? That's a very very good quality to aspire to be like <clears throat> a very very good example for people to be that when the chips are down and when you feel like giving up when all of this bad stuff is happening to you think about grandmother think about how much she how much struggle she had to deal with in her life but still remain strong and faithful in her beliefs and her love for God and her family. We can learn a lot from her. I know I'm gonna miss, uh, I missed out on eating a Watergate cake, but she was a heck of a cook. Um, every time I went over there, <clears throat> first thing I thought of after seeing grandmother was, oh my goodness, I hope she's got something cooked because it, it was always a treat to eat there. I've never eaten anything that she's cooked that I don't like. 
So, uh, grandmother, from the bottom of my heart, you know, you'll be missed. We all are going to miss you. Um, I can speak for everyone here, hearing this, who knew you, and saying that hey, we love you. Have fun in heaven. Which is actually kind of makes the sad news actually kind of good. But I do have um, really other good news. I spoke to Haley today. I spoke to my daughter today. Uh, I called her. I just felt like calling her. And uh, I don't know what made me call her. Just something told me to. And uh, there was no answer. I took a bath. After I took a bath, phone rang. My daughter is five years old and she is so smart. She grabbed that cell phone. She grabbed that cell phone and she dialed my number somehow. I got a phone call and all I heard was, hey daddy. And I was so sad about grandmother and then the minute I heard her voice, I forgot all about it. My heart just, my, my face just lit up. It was like I got Christmas today. Uh, she's doing well. She's going to be starting school in August. Um, she knows how to spell her name, her mom's name. She can spell dog. She can spell cat. Um, she's just getting so big on me. She misses me. She loves all of us. Um, so yeah. God knows what to send our way. <clears throat> God knows, and even though I'm backslid, God knew that I was going to take grandmother's passing very hard. So I, I think it was in his plan to um, have what happened happen because it couldn't have happened any other way. I couldn't be more happier right now. <clears throat> so many good things are happening and Talking to my daughter is one of them. I even spoke to Brittany today, and we had a very cordial conversation, very good conversation. There was no, no angry words. She's doing well. <clears throat> she's she seems to be happy with her life, and that's good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys. I just wanted to say it, put it on Facebook, um, since you know Facebook is always nothing but negativity. I thought I'd put some. So thought I'd put some happy news, even though there's sad news ahead of it. But I thought I'd put some happy news and actually smile during it. So I got to speak to my daughter today. I'm very happy. I took a bath today, <laughs> which was probably sorely needed. <laughs> but today's a great day, and I'm looking forward to what later on today has in store. I'm thinking Haley should call me back. And, uh... To be honest, I'm excited about to see what mom's cooking tonight. <laughs> so, friends and family, um, you know, keep Haley in your thoughts and prayers. And, uh, of course, keep, you know, keep the Sullivan family in your prayers as well. Um, they're going to need them. Grandmother was a very uh, loved woman. And she'll be missed. You know, you, she, she was just a woman that you don't forget. You don't forget people like grandmother in your life being so positive. Um, so, and, and you know, when somebody, when people lose somebody that lovable, that memorable, it tends to hit them way harder. A lot harder than uh, normal. So again, like I said, keep them all in your prayers. Thank you. Love you guys.